guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be doing Bo's two month old update and my two month postpartum update. Now Bo is two months old and one day. He turned two months old yesterday and I was going to do this video yesterday but we were so busy we just had so much going on and so I thought that I would do it today but here's a little look at him. <laughs> He's just starting to fall asleep right now. He was a little fussy and we gave him his nook and so now he's just clunking right out. But this little boy has such a personality on him already. He smiles so much. I mean, it's so fun to make him smile. He just gets this cute little grin on his face when we're making funny noises or talking to him and he just knows when he's the center of attention. He two months old today? You smile for mom? You smile for mama? <laughs> Hello? You smile? You're all full of smiles for mommy. Bo has a very happy demeanor overall. Now, he does get fussy sometimes, obviously, like all babies, but I would say altogether he is a pretty calm and content, happy baby. He does really like his nook though. So if, you know, just like he was just a couple minutes ago, he was fussing and we gave him his nook and he's happy as can be right now. And so I don't know if that's why he's such a content baby, just because he's a content baby with his nook, but whatever floats his boat, I guess, we're happy to give it to him. So Bo is wearing size two diapers already and he is, in size zero to three months kind of even growing out of that like this is zero to three months and he is on his way to three to six month clothes i think that he'll probably be wearing that in just a few weeks here so for the past two months we have mostly just been giving him four ounces of formula in a bottle uh every I don't know every two or three hours but we recently did just switch to five ounces and so he can make it a little bit longer on that and so I was actually nursing him in the mornings but my milk unfortunately dried up milk production has always just been a difficult thing for me I did not breastfeed my other two and so it didn't really come very easily for me once again unfortunately if and when we have another one I might try again and breastfeed but yeah it didn't work out unfortunately with Bo but we did enjoy the times that we were nursing. Like those bonding moments were just amazing. And yeah, it was a really great time for both of us. He still sleeps a lot. Now there will be days where he barely sleeps at all and we're just like shocked. Like, wow, he's been awake pretty much all day except for one little nap. But for the most part, I think he, you know, he's going through lots of growth spurts and so he sleeps a lot. He'll stay awake for a good hour, two hours sometimes, but a lot of the times he does sleep. We officially transitioned him into his crib a few days ago and he's been doing really well sleeping there right next to us and he doesn't really wake up very often in the middle of the night which we're really lucky. All of our kids were like that. He really just wakes up like once a night and then once in the morning like when, when we all wake up. So it's been really nice, really easy. You know, he just wakes up has his bottle, we change his diaper, burp him, and he goes right back to sleep. So yeah, I think we're really lucky when it comes to that just because sleep is great, sleep is amazing, especially when you have three kids. It's actually such a shame that he's sleeping right now because his personality is just so cute and so fun. He's just a really great baby. And you know, we don't really have anything out of the ordinary that we're worried about. We don't really have anything out of the ordinary at all, really, he's just, a very sweet and happy, content, healthy baby, and we're so, so thankful for that. <laughs> so I had to just jump on here again because right after I was done filming our his two-month-old update, he woke right up, and I just wanted to show you his cute little personality. Oh, are you gonna get fussy now? <gasps> you say hi for the camera. Say hi to the camera. Hi to all your friends. He loves, loves, loves to be held by our daughter and our other son. He just loves his siblings. He loves smiling at them and just relaxing. He'll watch TV with us when we're watching TV and he's just very aware of his surroundings. It's fun. We'll like 
kind of move our fingers back and forth and he'll follow them and just, he's just so fun. He's so cute and we're enjoying him so much. Now on to how I am doing two months postpartum. I think I'm doing pretty well, actually. I was just telling my husband yesterday that two months postpartum officially means to me, I think that I'm officially out of the woods for postpartum depression and anxiety. I have read that if you are gonna get postpartum depression and anxiety, that it usually happens either sort of right at birth or about a month after you give birth, which is what happened to me with my last son. Uh, I, I started getting it about when he was a month old. And so I really do feel like I'm out of the woodworks now. Don't quote me, ask your doctor if you are concerned about postpartum depression, because I could be wrong about the two month thing. But for me, I think that I am out of the woodwork of it, which is so, so amazing. We've really been getting out of the house a lot and you know, just getting out into the world. You know, I've been going to a lot of moms groups and um, it's just been great, you know, even going to the stores. And I think right from the get go, I knew that I didn't want to be the type of new mom that just kind of stayed at home and didn't really leave the house with her baby. I think also just because, you know, we, we have two kids already where, you know, this is our third baby that we're a little less scared I guess to leave the house you know we're just a little less worried about all of that stuff and so I've been doing really good getting out of the house and he is a champ getting out of the house too like he he's an easy baby and even when he does wake up you know I was at church the other day and he woke up and I just held him and bounced him and Isaiah was homesick so I was by myself and I was like oh no he's waking up and then it was just fine I picked him up I held him I bounced him he was happy as can be with his knock as well I think that helps a lot um, and so yeah, things have been going really great. Also, I think just getting the amount of sleep that I need to be getting has been great. Like he's just been amazing, a great sleeper. And so I've been able to sleep a lot. And I think that definitely helps a lot because if I wasn't getting any sleep, I think I would be struggling probably a lot more than I am right now. I also am still taking, well, not still taking a prenatal. I was taking a prenatal for a long time and now I'm taking just a woman's vitamin every day just like your daily multivitamin and I think that helps that's also something I didn't do with my other two which I think is important to do just because your body is still uh, recovering from pregnancy and trying to get all the nutrients back in your system back in your body and so that's been something that has been important to me so I've done that I have been struggling still a little bit with my weight I think um, weight's just something that I've always sort of struggled with. You know, I like to be fit and lean and, you know, thin and all of that stuff. But I've really been, especially lately, I've really been reminding myself, you know, look at what my body did. I look over at him and I'm like, but I just pushed a baby out of me. Like I grew a human and pushed him out of me. I think that's pretty amazing. A pretty amazing thing that my body did. And then looking at my other two kids as well, it's like, I brought three humans into the world. You know, it's okay that I'm not this thin model. Like, it's fine. <laughs> um, I do intermittent fasting and I, I, you know, I have some days where I do slack on it. And I think that could be why uh, that, you know, I'm not really seeing many results, but it is something that I'm doing. It's something that I'm slowly getting back into and I'm excited about that. You know, I think I just need to be realistic that it does take time and that's fine with me. The whole family is just doing really, really great. We all just love him so much. My husband loves making him laugh and holding him. And my daughter loves holding him. My son loves holding him. I love holding him. We all just, we love holding him. He loves this little bouncer chair. It has a little vibrator on it. And so when we're not holding him, he spends time in that and he just loves it. Um, what else? So yeah, he spends a lot of time in our arms. He spends some time in his bouncer. So I think he's a very spoiled, happy baby. The bottles that we use for him are just these Tommy Tippies. This one has some milk in it right now, but yep, just Tommy Tippy cups and our bottles and they work really great. I love them so much because you only have to wash three parts of it. 
some of these bottles, they just take forever to wash because there's like six pieces that you have to put together and it, it can be difficult. So I really love these. He takes to it really well. It doesn't really upset his stomach. And so I really love the Tommy Tippy bottles. This video is not sponsored by Tommy Tippy or anything, but I do love their products. He eats really well. Sometimes it takes him a while to burp. <laughs> Sometimes we'll be sitting there burping him for like 20 minutes and it's almost like to where we're like giving up, like, is he even gonna burp? I don't even know. Uh, but then he does most of the time, so he, he does take a while burping. The reason why it sort of took us a while to switch to five ounces from four ounces, which normally with our other two, I think we switched a lot sooner than this to like those higher ounces, but it's because when we did give him more, he would spit up while he was eating and spit through like spit up through his nose like he would throw up through his nose and his mouth and it was just this terrifying thing you know we would freak out and um i mean obviously he was fine and it was it was just fine but it, it was something that scared us to where you know we kind of thought all right if he can't really handle this many uh this many ounces then we're just going to stick with the four and so like i said we did uh just switch to the five and he's been doing great with that and so i think we're just taking our time going higher in the ounces and just you know, if he has to eat a little more often, he has to eat a little more often, but he does really well, especially at night, like we said. But yeah, guys, I really think that is it for this update. We're all just happy as clams. We're doing really good. He's doing really good. He's a happy, healthy baby, and we feel good. We feel happy and healthy. I feel happy and healthy, and yeah, we're going into fall, and I think that's really exciting. I'm just excited to show him off to family members and the holidays and all that good stuff. So I'm happy he's here. I'm happy that we're coming into fall, and yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video requests, please let me know. But other than that, I think that is it for this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Can you say bye, Bo? Bye. I'm very sleepy. Bye-bye.